This lesson continues with the main influences on operations management. And this lesson specifically looks at quality expectations. Quality refers to how well goods are designed and made and services are organised and delivered. Quality expectations of consumers influence a business because if the product is not considered good enough, it can lead to consumers taking their business elsewhere. We are seeing this type of poster on many business walls and basically what the business is communicating to, to the consumer is, yes, we have a certified quality product that has been checked by an outside body and that gives reassurance to the consumer. Now what do we expect from our quality? The operations process must be carefully designed to meet industry standards. There are industry bodies that actually do check different bodies. The process includes the way products are designed, created and delivered to consumers. Quality control flowcharts assist in ensuring quality. So what businesses are now doing before they even make their product, they're coming up with a plan. And that plan, as we can see over here, will have a few steps along the way where the product is checked for its quality. Now quality expectations with goods, what do we expect? We expect a quality of design with the materials that are used. Mercedes-Benz has always communicated to us that they use the best possible materials to make their cars. So that if their cars are in a crash, that they will stand up because they're using quality materials. The level of innovation in, in a Mercedes-Benz will include things like their sound system, their engines, their GPS system. The level of waste. How much waste is produced to make one car because consumers do have an expectation that businesses are trying to minimise their waste. We're also wondering how fit is this product for its purpose in terms of its usability. So if I buy a car, I'm expecting that car will be fit for that purpose of driving. Does the product pr function as promised? Toyota have had serious issues in the recent years because in America they had problems with their brake system. That meant that they had to recall their product and consumers then became very nervous about that product because they were all concerned about the quality. We're also concerned about the durability. How reliable is this product and what is, what is its lifespan? So if I buy this car, how long is it going to last for? Many businesses are now making promises to us about maintenance and after sales service and warranties. So for example, if I buy a Subaru Outback, I may be promised that in the first year of having that car, I can have free maintenance. Also, that they, I have a lifetime guarantee of that product. So if it ever breaks down, that the, the manufacturer is prepared to fix the product for free. Now with services, we also have quality expectations. Firstly, we expect professionalism. If I go into a lawyer's office, I'm expecting that it's going to be clean, that the physical facilities are professional, that they're going to give me the customer service that I demand and deserve. And I'm going to expect that, that, that it's reliable. More and more consumers don't have a lot of time in their lives. So for example, if we book an air flight, we're expecting that it's efficient. That if, if the airplane is due to leave at 10 o'clock, that that airplane leaves at 10 o'clock. If it's delayed for an hour, then that's not a very efficient service in our minds. We expect that services are competent. If I go and have my hair cut by a hairdresser, I'm expecting that they are competent in cutting my hair. And we are expecting that there's a level of customization. Now what does this mean? This means that the level to which the, the needs of the customers are met. So for example, if I go and buy a garment from a clothing shop, and I get it home and that, that garment is damaged, I'm expecting that there's customization. That means that I can go back, I can show the shop assistant and they will deal with that issue 
on hand. So that, that um, ends our lesson on quality as an influence on operations managers. Thank you.